In this video, we're going to look at the director's loan account. On your chart of accounts, if you use the zero chart of accounts, you will have code 835, which is called director's loan. Now, this is only relevant if you have a limited company set up, not for sole traders or partnerships. The most important thing is you can have and use a director's loan account, but you need to make sure that you are not borrowing money from the company. It's okay if it's the other way around that the company is owe you money. And in that instance, the balance in this account will be a credit balance. So that's the first thing you need to ensure. So you make sure that you don't withdraw money from the company and create a loan balance that means that you are owe the company money. Okay, let's take a look at how we will use the director's loan account. Okay, at the very start, there's one thing I suggest you do with your director's loan. So from the dashboard, we want to choose settings and then chart of accounts. And we know it's code 835 or we can search for it. So if we key in DIR and here we have director's loan account. Click on it, takes us into edit and all I want you to do is tick this box here, enable payments to this account. And that just means that you can use the director's loan almost like a bank account so that if you make payment on behalf of the company, you can code it to, straight to your director's loan account, which I will show you later. And then you just say save. Okay, you've started up your business and one of the first things you did was you personally paid funds into the business to get you started. Now here we're in zero, we're on the bank rec screen and there we can see initial funds 1000. So you go over to the right hand side and you create this transaction. So who's it from? M. Thompson. Where do we code it to? We're going to code it to 835 Directors Loan. We're going to say initial funds introduced and we're going to say OK. And it's as simple as that. OK, you've set up your limited company and your limited company will have share capital. Now, what's normal is that you don't actually pay for that share capital. So what we want to do is set it against your director's loan. So let's assume that the share capital is £100. How do we get that into the business? Well, we choose advisor, manual journals. And let me stress, this is a one off new journal. Narrative, it's fine to say share capital. The date the business was set up, we'll input whatever date that is. Description will feed through. We want to code this to 835 director's loan account. The value is 100. And then the other side of the entry, we'll want to choose the share capital account, which is 950. The 100 is entered automatically by zero to balance your journal. And then all that you do is post. And that's the share capital now appearing in zero. OK, you've got a purchase invoice. It was at the very start of the business and you paid it personally. Let's look at how to deal with that in zero. So I'm going to the spyglass. I'm going to find the invoice I want. Vodafone, here we have it. And then if we scroll down to the bottom left, we can make a payment. So let's input the date it was paid. And then where was it paid from? If you click this drop down, you'll see your bank accounts. But if you scroll down, you will also see the option to choose the director's loan account. And that's because we said enable payments against the director's loan account. Select it and then add payment. Now let's just go back and look at that invoice, view bill. 
And if we scroll down, you can see there's a payment against it. If we click on the word payment in blue, we're taken into the payment. And if you look carefully at the top left, you can see that that payment has been made from your director's loan account. Very clever way in Xero to deal with payments that you make personally. Okay, what you want to do is you want to make sure that that director's loan balance is a credit, it's a liability. How do you do that? Well, we can go to reports and we can choose the balance sheet. And if you scroll down to the liabilities section, you will see the director's loan account and the fact it's a positive number means it's a liability. So that's good, we're happy with that. If you click on the figure, it can take you into the details of what that balance is made up of. So there's a debit because you owe the business money for the share capital and then there are two credits, the business owing you. So a thousand pounds because you paid those funds in and 24 because you made a payment to Vodafone. Let me show you something else you could do. Settings and chart of accounts. You could select the director's loan. Click on it and then choose the show on dashboard watch list and save. Then when you go back to your dashboard, you've got an account watch list and the director's loan account will appear. Again, all that you're looking for because it's a liability account, that that figure is a positive amount, it's not a negative amount with brackets around it. That's a quick way to check that your director's loan account balance is good. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.